Good morning. Are all prejudiced against the truth? We're continuing the story from yesterday morning. We're reading at Jeremiah chapter 26, verses 10 to 15. When the princes of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Lord and sat down on the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. And the priests and the prophets spoke to the princes and all the people, saying, This man deserves to die, for he has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the princes and all the people, saying, The Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city with all the words that you have heard. Now therefore amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord your God. Then the Lord will relent concerning the doom that he has pronounced against you. As for me, here I am in your hand. Do with me as seems good and proper to you. But know for certain that if you put me to death, you will surely bring innocent blood on yourselves, on this city, and on its inhabitants. For truly the Lord has sent me to you to speak all these words in your hearing. As we continue through chapter 26, we find two groups interacting. There are the priests and the prophets who are lobbying to have Jeremiah killed, and there are the princes and the people, kind of another group in there, and they are listening and reviewing and thinking about this, and they constitute two, two separate groupings of what's going on. As God would have it, the priests and the prophets heard Jeremiah prophesying in the temple, and they were very much against him after that. These other people group have to come from the king's house, and they need to hear it again. So they hear about what's going on, and then Jeremiah has more to say, which we just read. He makes an appeal to them. He reaffirms that the Lord sent him and, and mentions that if they amend their ways, if they obey the Lord, that he will relent from the doom that he's pronounced against their city. But of course, if they don't relent, he says, well, here I am. I'm in your hands. Do with me what, what seems right. It's a pretty rational approach. It's a pretty fair-minded approach, and it's, it's courageous because moments ago, as we saw yesterday morning, they were the group, the mass group was there saying, this man deserves to die. They were trying to get Jeremiah killed. Jeremiah doesn't assume that the matter's concluded, and neither should you and I. Do you know that we often think people are more prejudiced and more unfair than they are? We think that their minds are made up and that nothing can move them, and it's just hopeless to do anything. When we're granted additional opportunities to speak, we usually should do that, and Jeremiah does it right here. Every group and every grouping of people is different, and you never quite know what's going to happen. And also remember, there are, there are fallen angels and there are uh, positive angels, angels on God's side of the question, there to influence hearts. There's the Holy Spirit there to influence hearts. And so we never quite know what the outcome is going to be in that new grouping of people. So we don't just throw up our hands and, and give up, but it, we may get new opportunities to present God's truth, God's purpose all over again. Different combinations of people and groups can create different kinds of dynamics. The priests and the prophets are ready to have Jeremiah killed, yes, but they don't have all the authority. Authority God has distributed through his people, and so there are the princes and the rest of the people. There's other pieces than just the priests and the prophets. Power and authority are divided among those groupings. And you know what else? God is still on his throne. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Sometimes we feel hopeless. We just assume it's too late. It's all done. We can just um, be done and know we're going to die. But Lord, Jeremiah uh, took a new opportunity and he spoke again to this group of people. And your Holy Spirit was working. And we're going to see tomorrow morning what their reaction is. Oh, Lord, we, we want to be right. We don't want to be people who just give up. Surely you've not called us to give up, but you've called us to persevere. Help us to be faithful, even when it seems like all the odds, they just appear like everything's against us and it's hopeless. Lord, with you, that's a majority. Help us to be right, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thankfully, there are often people ready to hear. Tomorrow morning, we'll see what the reaction is. God be with you.